Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 15 of JavaScript. In this video, we'll discuss about what is DOM manipulations. How to uh, work with DOM manipulation in JavaScript and we'll discuss about inner HTML. We already discussed about uh, what is DOM. Whenever the HTML page is loaded in the browser, then a document object is created and this object is responsible to perform operations on HTML elements at runtime. DOM traversal means catching the HTML element values at runtime is called as DOM traversal. DOM manipulation means modifying the content of HTML element values at runtime. At runtime, if the HTML values are changing, is it clear? The DOM values also will change. In that scenario, how to catch the HTML element values means by using inner HTML. Generally, modifying the HTML element attributes at runtime is called DOM manipulation. Let us see. How to achieve this DOM manipulation? So, inner HTML is a predefined property that is available in document object. I already told you what is document object. Is it clear? Here you have document object is there. And this object comes of some ready made what? Functions and some properties. Here, document is a predefined object. Document is a predefined object. It comes of some ready made functions. One is get the element by ID of element ID dot value. It is used to responsible to catch the HTML element values at runtime. Similarly, get element by ID of inner HTML. Inner HTML is a predefined property that is available. You can access these properties and functions by using this object name. Okay, na? so let us see one small example. You will get some clarity. First of all, I will try to open one HTML tag and close HTML tag. And here I will try to open head tag. And close head tag. In the previous video, we discussed about document dot get element by ID. Before watching this video, better if you watch the previous video, you'll get some clarity. Open body tag. And uh, within the body tag, I'll try to open form. I'll give some ID. ID is equal to some ID. I will give F1. And here you can close the form tag. And here I'll write something like enter first number. And I'll try to take one text box. Input type is equal to text. Here I'll write you ID. ID is equal to T1. And again throw the cursor to the next line. And here I'll try to write something like this. Enter first number. And here I'll write enter second number. Enter second number. Input type is equal to text. ID is equal to T2. And here I'll try to take two buttons. Input type is equal to button. And here I'll try to give ID. ID is equal to T1. And here I'll try to give value. Value is equal to some add. Okay, na? Otherwise, you can write add. Okay, add is okay. And here I will try to take one more method, one more button. Sub I will give. And here the button ID I will try to give as B2. So whenever user clicks on button one, I want to invoke one function. The name of the function will be as add off. Whenever user clicks on sub button, I want to invoke one function. The name of the function will give as sub off function calling here now after these buttons i will throw the cursor to the next line and here i'll try to take the span tag span also i'll give id id is equal to s1 i will give span tag generally it is like a regular text if you want to display any outputs in the browser we'll try to use span tag are you following it is generally used to display the regular text which one span are you following everyone all of you try to log into this group. This is my Facebook group, World of Angular. You can join in this group. Is it clear? So this is your span tag. Now uh, uh, here what I will do within the head tag, I'll try to open the script. Type is equal to, here I'll try to give text slash JavaScript. I'll try to give. Did you understood? And here I'll try to close the script tag. Close the script tag and within this I will declare one function. Function the name of the function I will give as add. Okay, na? and here I will try to declare something like one variable where x is equal to how to catch the value document dot get the element by id catching the values at runtime that is DOM traversal. Okay, now modifying the HTML element value at runtime that is DOM manipulation. Here I'll give t1 dot value t1 dot value But here one point is that by default text box will accept the data in the form of string 
what are the value that you are giving that value will be in the form of string so if you want to convert string to what number or specific type you have to use eval function because string plus string is string you know 10 plus 20 will be 10 20 but i want 30 so convert the string into some number or specific numeric type or any other type then you can use eval function now i want to find the sum where sum is equal to x plus y so i want to display this sum and when user clicks on add button i want to display the sum sub button i want to display the difference means the output i want to display in the span tag depending on the user interaction the output will change means the content of the html element values is changing at runtime then you have to use that is dom manipulation and only one span tag is there depending on the user interaction the content is changing that that is possible with the support of inner html so here i will write you see document dot get element by id of what is the id s1 dot span tag dot inner html is equal to sum is plus sum see what is the use of inner html means if the content of the html element will modify at runtime is it clear here? this content is modifying at runtime then you can use inner html then similarly i will declare one more function function add sub okay now the output value is not fixed it will change depending on the user did you understood everyone html see here you will write something like input to type is equal to text and here you can give some id these all are nothing but what similarly here you can give some height etc see what i'm telling this input is element name type is attribute name text is value similar id is attribute double quotes is value so if you want to modify the html element attribute values at runtime that is manipulations here i'll try to write x minus y and here i'll try to uh, print the difference actually difference diff i will give and here also i'll try to print differences differences plus diff are you following so when user clicks on add button i want to execute this add function when user clicks on sub button i want to execute this sub function okay now here i'll try to save the program inner dot html inner dot html i will save the program like that and here you can go to your html folder and once check the output here here you can see html satya there you can see inner inner program now let us see what is happening right here i like to give the enter first number 12 second number 10 click on add see the output is sum is 22 and the same html element value must change at runtime because again i am not executing the page page is not refreshing i am in the same page when i click on sub button i want to modify this content and only one spam tag output will change at runtime is it clear the page is not refreshing you see page is loaded only one time this span tag output must be changing depending on the user interaction that is this html value is modifying at runtime that is called dom manipulation modifying the content of html element values at what time runtime that concept is called as dom manipulation that you can do with the self, uh, support of inner html is it clear i hope you understood about dom traversal dom manipulation but anyway javascript code is very lengthy we have to write everything we have to manually write off our own but when you learn the latest frameworks like angular or react more freedom will be given to the developer so this is how you can work with this inner html dom traversal and dom manipulations okay in the next video we'll discuss about conditional statements so that we can easily perform validations for more videos try to subscribe to this channel click on bell icon like and share thank you nice day